Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles, and this time I'm showing you my puzzle Bulwark, which is an anti night puzzle, um, which is definitely one where I'm probably going to have scanning issues. But again, I'm just trying to explore the mix of classic Sudoku techniques that I've struggled with and explore them by creating puzzles, which I'm sharing with you. So let's get straight into the puzzle, shall we? So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got anti night. So what that means is any two cells connected by this shape, um, the, in, the digits at the end of that shape, even though they don't see each other by in the same row, column or box, cannot contain the same digit. And it doesn't matter about the rotation or orientation of that shape and where it is in the grid. Um, those two cells could not be the same. Those two cells could not be the same because I can sh make uh, that shape between them. Those two cells could not be the same. I can make that shape between them. That's how anti night works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Okay. So what do we have? We've got sixes looking into box seven and a six looking down. This is a six, which by Sudoku means one of those is a six, not seeing any anti night there. Eight and Eight puts eight in one of those three. That eight sees that one by anti night. That eight sees that one by anti night. So we get an eight there. This eight sees, and actually it doesn't do anything. It sees those by Sudoku. It doesn't see any of those by anti night. So that's not it. This two sees those by either Sudoku or anti night. That two sees those. So two is in one of those two. Um, yeah, two by Sudoku, two by anti night, two by Sudoku, two is in one of those, which puts two in one of those two, but this two sees that one by anti night, so that's a two. This three says there's no three there, this three says there's no three there, and it sees those by anti night, so three is in one of those two, which puts three in one of those two, and that three sees that one by anti night, so that's a three. So three is not in any of those. Uh, ah, but three and three puts three in one of those two. This three looks down saying there's no three here. So there's three here. And now I've got threes here, here, and here. So three is in one of those. Three is not here. This three sees that one. And this three sees those by anti night. That's a three. So this is not a three. This is a three. So now three and three puts three in one of those two. This is a three, six pair, but this three means this is the six, this is the three. That means this isn't the three, this is the three. Maybe now I can do more with sixes because sixes is in one of those. That six sees that one by anti night. That six sees that one by no anti night. So that's the six. Six and six puts six in one of those three. That six says not there, well, which is the same as that one. Ah, but that six says that's not a six. That's a six. So six and six put six in one of those two, but that six says not there. That's a six. I've got all the sixes. So do I have all the threes? Yes, I do. Okay, so what comes next? This one says there's no one here. It's the same as that one. That's not it. Can I do more with eights? This eight says there's no eight there or in any of those or there. Uh, eight's in three places. That's not great. This one is doing something though. This one is saying there's no one in either of those two or there. So I've actually got one pointing across here. So there's no one in any of those. Right, and this one is looking up. So there's no one in any of those. One is in one of those two, which puts one in one of those two. Uh, and this one says there's no one there, so that's actually a one. Four is down here, but that four says not here, so four is in one of those two. This two, there's no two in any of those. Yeah, and there's no two up here, that's a two which puts two in one of those two, but that two says there's no two there. That's a two. So there's no two in any of those. 
Well, two in this box? No. Nope. Oh, actually, yeah. Two's not there either. Two is in one of those two. Which does do something. This, yeah, it places two in box nine. Because if I put two here, that would see that one by Sudoku and that one by Knight's move. So I couldn't put two in box eight. And the same if I put two here. So I can't put two in either of those cells. That two sees all of those. So two is in one of those two. But this two is looking across saying not there. This is the two. So this isn't the two. This is the two. So now two is in one of those two, but that two says not there. That's the two. This isn't the two. This is the two. I have more to find. Seven is in one of these three now. And seven is in one of those three. I'm actually, uh, do I want to mark that? Yeah, I do. This is not a classic. So I'm happy to mark three locations if they're pointing Can I do anything with fours? I've got fours here. Maybe eights. Because eights can't be in any of those. Yeah, where's eight in row seven? Eight can't be in any of those. That eight is seen that one, that one, and that one. That's an eight. So where's, oh no, I've got eight here. So eight is in one of those two. So where's eight in row eight? That eight sees that one and that one. Eight is in one of those two. That eight is looking down. That's the eight, so that's the four. So I've now got a triple in row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, nine. Well, there's no four there. Hmm. And now I need to put eight in one of those three, but that eight says not there. Eight is in one of those two. So eight and eight makes this an eight, which doesn't restrict either of those. But it puts eight in one of those three. Not great. Okay. Oh, this one sees that one. That's not a one. That's a one. So now one in box nine is in one of those two, which puts one in one of those two. One is in one of those two. So I've got this weird, well, it's not a weird X-wing, it's just an X-wing on ones. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. Not seen by anything. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, se five, seven, and nine. Not seen by anything. This is five or nine because it's four, five, nine. And it's C. Oh, this can't be a four. This is a four. So this is not a four. So four is in one of those two. So four is in one of those. Can I do more with fours? Yeah, I can. That four sees both of those and that four sees all of those. That's a four, which means that's a four and this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, se five, seven, nine. Oh dear. Ah, I vaguely remember there being something with five sevens and nines in this puzzle. That's okay. That four sees that four. That's not the four. That's the four. So four is not in either of those or those. Four is in one of those two. Four is not there or there. Four is in one of those two. But that four looks up saying, that's not the four, that's the four. Looking down saying, that's not the four, that's the four. I've got all the fours. Can I do more with eights maybe?
What are these? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. There's no eight there. This is five, seven, nine. Eight is in one of those two. This is five, seven, or nine, isn't it? These are five, eight, nine. There's no five there. Okay. Is there anything I can do with ones or eights? Okay, so let's try this. We know that this is a five or a nine, and this is a different five or nine, because they see each other by nice move. So this is blue, and we know this is yellow. Um, I thought I needed to do more with ones. What are these three digits? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, seven, and nine. This one sees blue and yellow. So this one can't be a five or a nine. This is one or seven. I remember this being a trick. This is five, seven, or nine. This can't be five or nine. And right, these can't be five or nine. Because these see blue and yellow. It's, this one sees yellow by Knight's move. This one sees yellow by Sudoku, and they both see blue. So these are from 1579, but they can't be 5 or 9. So this is a 1-7 pair, which takes 7 out of there, making that a 7. This is a 5-9 pair. The 7 here takes 7 out of both of those. This is now the blue, because it sees the yellow. So this is the yellow. This now sees yellow and blue, so that's the seven. This is not the se this is not the seven, but it does mean it's blue, which means this is yellow and this is blue. This is not seven, so this is the yellow. This was the trick that I was playing with. Seven is absolutely up here. I do remember being very happy with this trick, but I don't remember. This sees yellow and blue. This becomes seven, which means this is nine. This sees seven and nine, so that's eight. This is seven, which means this isn't seven. So this is one, five, nine, and it's not nine, so it's one or five. I'll get there. <laughs> this isn't the eight. Sorry, this is the eight. This is one, seven, or nine. And that is now a one, seven, nine triple. No, sorry, it's not one, seven, nine. It's just, what is it? It's one or five. Okay, there's no eight here, so let's finish the Sudoku. This is the eight. Oh, I remember this having a trick at the end. I don't remember it being this hard. I've obviously dropped the ball somewhere. This isn't the seven. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and nine. I don't remember this being quite this tricky at the end. This one sees yellow and blue. That's the one 
That's the nine. And now blue can't be nine. Blue is five. Yellow is nine. Now I can get rid of the coloring. Okay. So nine means this isn't nine. That's a one seven. That's a five. Oh, I had the nine. I had that ages ago. This is the five. This is the one. This is the nine. Okay. Um, something's going to look in on these one sevens. The seven makes that the one, that the seven, which makes that the one and that the seven. The five looks up saying this isn't the five. These are, or the one looks up saying that's not the one. These are seven and nine. Yeah, because I need to put a five in this column. These are seven and nine and something will get there. The nine looks up taking nine out of those. Those are five and seven. This is the one. The five makes that the seven and that the five. The seven looks back making that the nine and that the seven. And that is the solution to the puzzle. Now, I expect people to find this one a little bit tricky. I didn't say these were all going to be easy. Some of these were going to ramp up in difficulty, and there's a couple are coming that are going to make this one even harder. Um, I'm exploring how to make puzzles that are a little bit more interesting using just Sudoku rather than just the constraints. I've always avoided doing that, and I'm wanting to improve my skill and my knowledge of that. And I'm just sharing that. Um, if you don't want to come on this journey, no reason for you to do so, but I hope many of you choose to. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying these puzzles and as always, good luck with your solving.